Moments ago, the world was stunned. Dr. Daniel Nemes, the brilliant scientist, mysteriously disappeared after revealing a revolutionary device that let humans glimpse into other dimensions. His invention, a machine he named Energy Vision, claimed to show entities from parallel realities, creatures existing beyond the boundaries of human perception. Could it be that Dr. Nemes saw too much? Let us explore the dark secrets he discovered about this unsettling visitor who came with only one mission in mind. The hidden dimensions beyond our reality. Dr. Neems believed that the universe was not limited to the three-dimensional space we inhabit. His invention, Energy Vision, was based on advanced technology that utilized special lenses and sunlight to detect energies from beyond our dimension. According to Neems, these energies manifested in the form of strange, ethereal figures, beings with elongated limbs and translucent shapes. These beings defied conventional science and appeared in ways that challenged our understanding of biology and physics. The energy vision device worked by capturing images of entities from other dimensions using a combination of optical principles and Neem's unique screen technology. The images were unsettling and mystifying. Some looked like ghostly apparitions, others like abstract forms that hovered between the visible and the unseen. If Neem's discoveries were true, they would have proven the existence of parallel worlds, confirming theories of multiple dimensions long speculated by physicists. Despite the exciting possibilities of his work, Dr. Neem's faced skepticism from the scientific community. Many scientists dismissed the images as errors, environmental effects, or even pareidolia, where the brain tricks us into seeing familiar shapes, like faces, and random patterns. Still, Neem's persisted, publishing more than 1,000 photographs on social media platforms like Facebook, hoping to convince the world that his device was real. He attracted a curious audience, and while some believed him, others mocked or insulted his work. Another victim of multidimensional truths. In the year 2022, Dr. Alexander Venin, a smart scientist who studied space and time, suddenly disappeared from his lab in the Swiss Alps. He went missing just a few days after telling some of his fellow scientists that he had made a new invention that could help people see creatures from other dimensions. Venon had spent years studying the idea of different worlds and dimensions that we cannot see, but this new invention, called the interdimensional scope, was his biggest discovery yet. For a long time, Venon thought that creatures living in other dimensions might be responsible for strange things that happen in our world, like weird scientific events or ghost sightings. He believed these creatures could move through our world without us noticing and could change things in ways we don't understand. While most scientists did not agree with him, some people who liked unusual ideas were interested. The interdimensional scope was said to work by changing tiny particles in a way that let the person using it see into other hidden dimensions. Venon believed this invention could prove that there are living beings, things we cannot see, creatures that may have been with humans for a long time without us ever knowing. In his last notes, Venon even suggested that these creatures might be watching us and secretly affecting our world. Three days before he disappeared, Venon showed his invention to a special group of scientists in Geneva. People who saw him said he seemed both excited and worried, like he had found something amazing but also scary. He used the device and said he saw beings of pure energy moving between dimensions and watching us, but staying just out of reach. Even though Venon was very serious, the other scientists didn't believe him. They thought it was just his imagination or a mistake in his work. Despite their doubts, Venon went back to his lab to keep working. Then, on the morning of October 15, 2022, Venon's assistant arrived at the lab and found it empty. All of Venon's notes, journals, and even the interdimensional scope were gone. There were no signs of a struggle, but on his desk was a strange note that said, They're watching. The police searched the mountains and nearby villages, but Venon had vanished without any clues. Since then, people have come up with many ideas about what happened to him. Some think the government took him, while others believe he opened a door to another dimension and either walked through it or was taken by the beings he was studying. Today, Venon's invention is missing, and nobody knows what really happened to him. Many people wonder if he finally saw something too powerful or frightening for humans to understand. What happens when we push science too far? In 1931, the world saw the birth of Roger Penrose, a British mathematician and physicist whose work would one day challenge the very foundations of science. Throughout his long career, 
Penrose explored some of the most puzzling mysteries of the universe, including the nature of space and time and the complex workings of human consciousness. Known for his creative and unconventional thinking, he often introduced ideas that made people rethink the way they understood the world around them. But what if, one day, Penrose or another brilliant thinker like him ventured too far into the unknown? What if, after creating a machine capable of peering into hidden dimensions, they simply vanished? The story begins with Penrose's undeniable brilliance. Early in his career, he invented Penrose tiling, a special way of covering a flat surface using shapes that never repeat, revealing new mathematical patterns in nature. However, this was just the beginning of his journey into uncharted areas of science. Along with Stephen Hawking, Penrose studied black holes, places in space where gravity is so strong that it bends the very rules of space and time. Their work on singularities, the points where these rules completely break down, helped scientists understand how black holes work, giving them a clearer idea of how the universe is structured. Could these hidden dimensions, imagined by both Penrose and string theory, help us learn new things or bring dangers we aren't ready for by unlocking infinite secrets of the universe? Some ideas are so complex and mind-bending that they can change the way we think about reality itself. One such concept is string theory, a revolutionary idea that suggests the smallest parts of our universe aren't tiny particles but vibrating strings of energy. These strings don't just move in our three-dimensional world, they move in additional dimensions, spaces we can't even see or fully comprehend. While we experience three dimensions of space and one of time, string theory hints at many more hidden dimensions. Some theories propose up to 10 or even 11 dimensions. What's even more fascinating is the idea that these extra dimensions might not be empty or meaningless. In fact, they could contain entire hidden worlds, often referred to as brain worlds. Picture a cake with several layers stacked on top of each other, each layer representing a different universe. These universes, or brain worlds, might be sitting right next to ours without us ever realizing it. Even though they occupy the same space, they don't interact with each other in any obvious way, like parallel worlds just beyond our reach. Scientists have a hard time proving these worlds exist. It's as if they're trying to listen to a far-off whisper in a noisy room. However, they keep searching for clues in places like the cosmic microwave background, which is the leftover light from the Big Bang. If these hidden dimensions and brain worlds are real, the impact on our understanding of life and the universe would be enormous. If these parallel universes or brain worlds do exist, it would mean that our universe isn't as unique as we once thought. In our universe, there are certain conditions that allow life to thrive, oxygen, water, and just the right distance from the sun, for example. But if there are countless other universes, maybe life isn't so rare after all. Each one of these universes could have its own set of rules and possibly its own forms of life. This idea breathes new life into something called the Anthropic Principle, which suggests that life can only exist in a universe that has just the right conditions. Maybe, in the vastness of a multiverse, life is not a one in a million chance, but something that happens regularly in different forms. Imagine a universe where the sky is always green or where gravity works differently, and yet life still finds a way to adapt and evolve. One of the most famous scientists exploring these incredible ideas is Michio Kaku, a physicist born in 1947 in San Jose, California. Kaku has spent his life making difficult scientific theories, like string theory, easier for everyday people to understand. He has written books, appeared on TV shows, and given talks, all aimed at explaining the complex structure of our universe. Kaku's journey into the world of theoretical physics began with string theory, this idea that proposes the building blocks of our universe are not tiny particles like electrons and protons, but incredibly small vibrating strings of energy. Thanks for watching.